Brought to you by Curious Brandland. So this is going to be a, uh, the intro to a video we did on uh, the effect on hypertonic or hypotonic uh, solutions on tissue. And we're going to use carrots. And what my students did, actually two labs. One was with dialysis tubing and this is with carrots. And what you're going to see in this, um, in the video, is you're going to see us set it up. We're going to, you're going to watch us place carrots in a solution labeled A and one labeled B. Then you're gonna we're gonna come back and look at the results and we'll we'll discuss this table. We'll label what's hypertonic, what's hypo, and what happened to the carrot in each one of these solutions. Brought to you by you're carrot. Placing your carrot and a cup A and B. Go ahead and drop it in. Hey look that's an observation you can make. Look, if yours did not float and it's A, you can go and write that's one of your observations. Okay? Now, what are we doing? We are going to have to let this sit. Okay, so here's the lab. People. All right. We're doing right now the back, and you guys should describe what's going on here, Karen. So I'm doing, I'm going to record a couple of different versions of these, probably put them together. And you guys quickly saw that his A cup is floated. If yours didn't, you can go ahead and write that as one of your observations, that solution A floated. You need to explain what's going on there. Solution B, later on, we're going to talk and say which one of these is hypertonic and which one of these is hypotonic. All right? Does everyone understand? So what we're going to do is we're going to let this set, and then we're going to go ahead and... Nothing. We're going to go ahead and do the front of the handout now and start setting up the dialysis tubing. All right? Any questions? All right, we have our carrots now. We, You should have labeled what's going on. And down here, we're going to write down what's in A and what's in B. So A, take a look. A, look how much it lost a lot of water. Look how flexible it is. That's because it lost water. B is very firm. Look how firm this is. It's like you have to, I could have to work hard to snap it in half. But there's B. Here's A. Look how I feel it. So it's lost water. A is salt water. That means A is, as you should write in here, it is hypertonic. And B, people, is hypotonic. So we're, that's pretty much it for that. You guys go and explain the rest of what's going on your on your paper. Now let's talk about the next part.